Good morning. We are starting out with a really pretty sunrise in Springfield. Beautiful bright oranges and yellows. It's a little bit warmer and stickier than it was this time yesterday. It's 67 degrees on some southerly winds out there this morning. It's 68 degrees already in Branson, 69 in Ava, and 65 degrees in Fort Leonard Wood. Remember, yesterday we had dew points still in the 50s. Well, this morning they're in the low to middle 60s. So we're not quite as comfortable as we were yesterday on the muggy meter. We're starting to get a little bit sticky out there, and it will feel sticky. As we head through the afternoon, starting out dry, just some clouds out there this morning. But today we'll bring back some storm chances because we do have a front that's currently bringing some severe storms in um, south central Iowa. This front will start to press southward as we head through the afternoon and interact with some upper level energy, upper level hiccups, and that's going to bring us chances for some showers and storms out there today. So uh, we'll have a little bit of a disturbance, pop maybe some spotty showers this afternoon to the south. We've got that cold front coming in from the north, and with the heat and humidity that we're going to find today, that will grow some fuels that could organize these storms a little bit better by the evening hours, especially up in this yellow slight risk here north of I-44. Threats that we're looking at with this would be a quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. That's what we're watching out for as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. You could also find some locally heavy rain as well. Lightning always a threat and thunderstorms. Now, the uncertainty with this comes in timing. We're likely going to find at least two or three rounds of storms today, and each round will impact the next one. So we've got to watch out for how these play out today. Um, so you'll need to stay weather aware with us. But for now, it looks like we could have some spotty showers and storms, mainly to the south and east on that upper level hiccup earlier in the afternoon with temperatures in the 80s. Then we could find one round of a line of storms coming in earlier in the evening, probably before midnight. Then another round could come in after midnight when the storms organize into a line. That's where you get the push of damaging winds and large hail. So again, each one will impact the next, so we've got to just stay on our toes today. And that is the same case for tomorrow. How these play out tonight impact what the radar looks like tomorrow. So for now, does it look like too much will happen on Thursday? We'll keep a storm chance, but it looks mostly dry. If we find any storms develop on Thursday, they could also be strong to severe with damaging winds and large hail. Then the weekend, high pressure builds in, and we're looking at a hot and humid weekend, looking at likely our first temperatures near 90 degrees by Sunday. After that, we're tracking this tropical storm crystal ball spinning in the Gulf of Mexico this morning. This will kind of just sit and spin through this week there and then head northward towards the Texas and Louisiana coast by the weekend and then possibly track the remnants through our area through Tuesday and Wednesday of next week where we'll have to watch out for some tropical downpours uh, starting on Tuesday. 86 degrees today, some showers and storms possible. Again, some rounds possible overnight tonight with that low at 67. 86 degrees tomorrow with a couple of showers and storms possible again. Storm chances look more isolated on Friday. The weekend looks summer-like, pretty hot and humid. Tropical remnants arrive by Tuesday.